We're playing doubles, being patient, waiting for our opportunity. My partner loves pace. She kicks it into high gear. She is in the zone. Nothing gets past her. I feel we have the momentum. Every point goes in our favor. But nothing lasts forever in pickleball. Our opponents are skilled and fight back, leaving all of us to wonder what actually happened. We sit down to review the footage to discover our strengths and weaknesses, to guarantee we come back stronger than ever. Enjoy the video. Hey guys, I'm here with my doubles partner, Chris Ferguson, also known as Pickleball Jesus. And today, we're gonna be going over our doubles play Make sure that you stay to the end because we're going to show you a resource that you can use to level up your game to track your matches. Let's get into it. Dion really does like to bang the ball. So if you're giving her pace, you know, she, she'll probably win the majority of the exchanges. I put that one up. I, I could have literally And she's unstoppable. I literally could have just stuck my paddle out, but I just watched it go by. I like how Kim looked at me after that point, and you could see the disappointment. I'm oh, sorry, Kim. <laughs> just trying to go too soft, too cute. Got to put my weight through it. Oh, thinking that I'm good. I'm trying to take over. <laughs> that was a good, good setup. I think you would have had it too. You're just a little off balance. There we go. Oh, it hit her paddle. Let's yeah. go. She got down low on that. That was good. Yeah. She got down really low. That first one was good. Second one, she was a little off balance and popped up. Yeah, you guys are playing my partner. Leave her alone. <laughs> she kept it low at Kim's feet. That was really good. Kim just didn't get under it, right? Yeah. That's my MacGuffin serve. Boom. After reviewing the last match and knowing the stats, I don't like this pattern. <laughs> there we go. Oh. I really like that play because she only took one step over to the middle and then I, I waited for her to do that and then I went behind her. Smart. You set it up high. You got a little yeah, lucky. That's super lucky on that one. I like how she really commits to some of her forehands, especially. Like, she'll just ream it. See the net height on that? I gotta elevate that third shot, right? Well, yeah, it shouldn't be anywhere near the tape. Ooh, yeah, <laughs> I don't like that better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there we go. Oh, man. Oh, I yeah, baby. Lob. I got to speed it up in the beginning. Okay, you set it up a little bit there, there but go. you're keeping it low now. Yeah. Oh, oh, nice hands, Kim. Oh, oh, I, oh Kim yeah. Bob. Thank God we got somebody on the team. Oh! <laughs> and then that roll. You're that really good at those setup. angles. You're really good at the I feel angles. I comfortable hitting them. A little high. Yeah. You know, the problem is, is I know... 
Like I know that I can hit that ball, but I know that it's low percentage. Yeah. That's what I think the battle is. Like, don't hit the low percentage. Yeah, right that that was a great pop up. Good backhand dink <laughs> pop up. Jeez. I like the height on that one. Yeah, I know, you loved it. Ooh. You know, I like the idea, but I think I just Went for too much. Yeah. I could have went middle even. You Brett Favre that one a little bit. Like there was like a tiny window. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's an awful oh. drop. I like my intent there. You had zero four hand ground strokes airs until that intent, point. Dude, what a way to break the streak. <laughs> good hands. I thought your really shot was good, good too. That's a good ball. I just had a good boy. I feel like the movement is starting to look more fluid, fluid yeah. at the kitchen. And we're starting to jump on the ball. Like now, yeah. like when we're doing the dinks, anybody that sets the ball up even a little bit in the middle, yeah. we're jumping on it. We're definitely a threat now. Before we were just kind of watching it. How do you keep on growing your hair, bro? Like this I is- this I just is, let it do its own thing. It's like a plant. You told me that you were going to donate it. <laughs> Dude, I've done it twice. I oh, really? I've done it the third time, yeah. Oh, okay. Dude, Every time I see you, you have more hair than me. <laughs> it's not fair. Good setup by Kim. That's exactly what I was just talking about, though, right? Is those dink exchanges, if we go middle high, whoever yeah. has a forehand is ripping it up. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Dude, that's a good hand speed, though. I would have that been was so sick. Pumped. Dude, if that would have went in, I was probably taking a lap around the court. Dude, Great hands. Oh. That pickup by Dion though was really good. Yeah. That's a good return. I could tell you put that thing with a lot of slice. It was staying low. Yeah. MacGuffin, baby. <laughs> <laughs> he rips that serve. Yeah, he's a, he's a good shot. Dude, you gotta start getting out before in the morning. So it's so good. <laughs> gotta take some extra stuff. Oh. See, that's just a low percentage play, right? Yeah. That was Woo. that was a terrible decision. <laughs> very very dumb on that one. That was also some checkers. That's what happens. Right? That's a very, very common. People that come from a tennis background like us, yeah. when you first start out, you think so that you can bang everything it's so and tempting. it's not there. Like that, you know, case in point. <laughs> I told Paul I was gonna start to I was gonna go buy some Gold Star stickers, and when we play inside, I was gonna start just marking the wall, like whenever somebody hits the wall. Yeah. <laughs> with the forehand miss. Mm. Go through that ball, man. I like the aggressive play by Dion to the net. Oh yeah. Created the opportunity. I like the effort on that one. Chris, so the stats are in. What do the stats say for you this time around? So this time around was more or less of the same. Um, I had three unforced errors on the forehand volley, all punch volleys uh, that in, were into the net. Overall, it was still six winners to three errors, so there's there still positives to take away, but I really don't think there should ever be more than two punch volleys in the net per game. 
uh, for my standards. Anything less or anything worse than that to me is uh, bad decisions. As your doubles partner, I would love for that column to be only winners. <laughs> for me, it's kind of more of the same, which is good news, because when you guys are stati doing the stats on your match, you want to have some clarity on what's going on so then you know what to work on. So for me, my serve kept on going well. I had two winners. And then my backhand dinks and volleys are where the opportunity lies. Way to stick to the end. And if you guys want to level up your game, make sure that you check out the description, grab your own stat sheet, start videoing yourself, so then you can level up your game with Chris and me. We will see you guys very, very soon. We're out. Ciao.